at first glance you might believe that this emerald green is alive but it's actually dead and I can assure you that this is a dead plant this one over here you can see has the same kind of color but it is definitely dead the reason for these two arborvitaes dying is that it was planted and not cared for and this is typical of what you'll see of an arborvitae as it starts to fail due to a lack of moisture. The foliage will sort of weep down a little bit and feel dry to the touch. And you can see the, the seed pods on them are just, you know, just drying up. They feel dry, crispy, and these are definitely goners. There is no hope for these arborvitaes. No amount of watering at this point will bring them back. And I would say in another month they'll be completely toast. When you plant your arborvitaes you have to maintain moisture around the root mass. The way you determine that is you just stick your finger into the soil around the root ball and it should feel moist, not wet and not dry. If it's overly wet, the roots don't get oxygen and the tree will die. So what you want to do is just maintain the moisture level moist, not wet, and not dry. Very simple. Moist, not wet, not dry. Oh, and also when you're planting, always remember green side up. We'll see you About two weeks ago, I took a picture of these two arborvitaes saying that they were dead. I think you'll agree right now that that one's definitely, definitely dead. But this one is too. And if you go up and you touch the foliage of this with your hand, it feels dry and crispy. And that dry crispiness is definitely a dead plant. Now there may be some foliage down at the bottom that looks a little better. But in essence, that is dead too. And if it's not completely browned over in the next two weeks, I would be very surprised. A better plant choice for this location would have been the Hetz columnar juniper, especially one that was bald and burlap because it can take more abuse and it's a drier plant and it doesn't need as much water. It's from the Rocky Mountains and out there you can, it goes through drought in its normal life cycle. So that would have been a better choice for a place like this where you're going to plant and forget. And to give you an example of why the the Hetz columnar juniper would be a better choice for this location. You can just take a look over here and see that a juniper that they did plant survived. And that tells the tale of what you want to select for this type of a location where you're going to plant and forget. Don't forget to give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your tree and shrub questions. We'll try and answer all calls or just email us. Thank you. Bye. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian black hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitaes in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine and we are noted for our green giant arborvitaes and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar, in the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. 
We also have nana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide re range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.